G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a probability question from grade 8, and it goes as follows. Kaiko tosses one penny, and FOM tosses two pennies, okay? The probability that FOM gets the same number of heads as Kaiko gets is what? All right, all right, so Kaiko's tossing one penny, FOM's tossing two pennies. We want to know the chance of them getting the same number of heads. Well, I guess I can just sort of list that. Maybe, you know, there's options for Kaiko. Kaiko either gets zero heads with his one penny, or one head with his one penny. Uh, FOM, I guess, gets either zero heads with his one penny, one head, or two heads. Oh, sorry, he's got two pennies, what I'm saying. Or two heads, beg your pardon. Or I guess if, you know, if Kaiko got his one head, the same thing could occur for Ephraim. So it looks like the answer to this problem is, uh, given in this table, here they have the same number of heads, one, zero heads each, and here they have the same number of heads. There we go. So I'm just thinking here. That's it. Out of the six possibilities, looks like they have the same number of heads two times. Whereas the answer must be probability is two sixths or one third. Except, obviously I'm pausing. That felt too simple. All I did was list all cases and then just count how many of the desired cases we have. Why am I nervous about this? Why am I pausing? In fact, I always pause about probability problems. They always make me nervous. I guess, look at this. I mean, there's only one way Ephraim can get zero heads. He has to get tails, tails. But the trouble is I'm pausing over the one heads part. He can either get heads and a tails or a tails and a heads. There's actually two options hidden in there. So maybe this table should be more like, uh, I'll draw it here, Kaiko Ephraim, he gets zero heads, or well, maybe I'll just write, he got a tail, and he gets a tail and a tail, he gets a tail, a tail and a head, a tail, a head and a tail, a tail and a head and a head, I guess that's all those possibilities now, or I guess the four for Kaiko getting heads, tail, tail, tails, head, heads, tails, uh, and heads, heads. So. There's another way to think of this table, in which case here uh, they both got zero heads, and here they both got one head, and here they both got one head, and that's it. So now it looks like the probability that they got the same number of heads is three options out of eight. And I'm nervous because I now have two answers that are very different to the same problem, and I don't know which one's right. All right. So what I'm going to do here is do something that might surprise you. Engage in wishful thinking. This is strategy number three. What do I mean by wishful thinking? Probability always scares me because they do things simultaneously. Kaiko and Ephraim each had three, they had three coins among them that just tossed them simultaneously. And that scares me. It is true. Ephraim either see one head, could see one head only, but he could see it in two different ways. Or is it the same way? I don't know. Him seeing a head, tail, or tail, head feels like it's the same. So here's my wishful thinking. Could they have played the game as follows? There's only one penny. What happens is that Kaiko picks up the penny and tosses it once. First toss, Kaiko. Then, once Kaiko's had his turn, Ephraim picks up the penny and tosses it a second time. Then, once he gets the answer, tosses the penny for a third time. All right, so there I've teased the problem part into a toss, a toss, and a toss. Kaiko lays claim to the first toss. Ephraim lays claim to the last two tosses. In which case, my table would have to look like this. Here's what could happen. We could get a tail, a tail, and a tail, or we could get a tail, and a head, and a tail, or a tail, and a tail, and a head, and so on. Now, it looks like the table is basically going to look like the same as this thing. So here's my wishful thinking. If this were the game that they tossed one coin but three in a row, then I know the answer would be three-eighths. So my wishful thinking says, if the game was the same like this, I've got the answer three-eighths. But now the real question is, can I believe in my wishful thinking? Is this game here, where they toss the coins simultaneously, the same as this coin here, game here, where they have one coin tossed three times in a row? Now I'm going to put my feet up on the table, stare at the ceiling for a while, and mull on that. Are these philosophically the same game or not? In which case, the answer is three-eighths. But if they're not the same game, maybe the answer is actually one-third after all. Hmm. So mull on this. Think about it for a while. This could take a good while, actually, to mull on this. This is actually a deep philosophical question, which I love. So sit with it. See what conclusion you come to, and then read the essay that goes with this video. And see if you came to the same conclusions that I did. Lots of good stuff. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.